welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in so it seems that the met police have come under some heavy criticism with the way that they handled the video that went ahead in memory of sarah evra if you guys don't know the story behind that i did do a video on that so you guys could go ahead and watch that video let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you ever wanted to support my channel furthermore in the description is my paypal and my cash app let's jump right into the video police in london clashed with mormons and protesters on saturday where more than 1000 people gathered for a vigil for sarah everard who was a 33 year old woman who was killed by a male police officer just a little bit of a background sarah everard disappeared as she walked home on the evening of march 3rd which led to a wave of accounts from women about the dangers of walking the streets alone at night and dismay at the failure of police and wider society to tackle this i did a whole video on that also because there was a national debate and conversation around the safety of women now about 1000 people gathered up around the bandstand on clapham common in southwest london which was near where sarah everard was last seen alive to pay their respect and protest the lack of security women feel when they are outside in public spaces some chanted shame on you at police who were present campaign groups had wanted to organize a formal vigil but the head of the london met police Chrisida Dick said any vigil would be unlawful and would be unsafe due to COVID-19. Correct me if I am wrong but I do believe that when the last lockdown regulations came in place public gatherings as such large gatherings like that protest were cancelled like they were by law banned. Now the mayor of london city khan who is responsible for policing in the city said the officer's response was at times neither appropriate or proportionate and added that he was seeking an urgent explanation from Cressida dick i'm just going to quickly play an audio from the red-haired woman who was caught on camera being handcuffed on the ground at the bandstand who received a 200 pound covid fine as police tried to remove her from the area um, she goes by the name of Patsy Stevenson and her video um, went viral everybody was just sharing that video let's just quickly have a listen to what she was saying the fact that the police turned up was just disgraceful because before then it was a peaceful protest um, I was arrested by police for standing there I wasn't doing anything um, they they threw me to the floor they have pictures of me on the floor being arrested and i'm five foot two and i weighed nothing i mean i watched the video of how she was on the floor it, to me it looked like she was brutally pushed and shoved on the floor now of course this was in a very tight environment but it just did not look good at all especially because these are women and this protest escalated so quickly um but i just want to quickly move on from that let's just have a listen to this however it's not about what whether it goes ahead or not it's about how they how you deploy your tactics and what tactics you use in order to um, safely allow that vigil to go ahead and let's also not forget this was a vigil not a protest you will always get people that come along that will be um, those that want to disrupt uh, something so personable and something so sensitive this wasn't black lives matter this was mm. a a, a sensitive issue where a woman has been murdered tragically and it's raised the alarm and it's ignited a movement from thousands and thousands of women from across the globe and probably internationally to say enough is enough. So that was the former detective superintendent of Scotland Yard, Shabam Chaudhry. The fact that she, first of all, let me not even get to the Black Lives Matter, but the fact that you know she said let's not forget this was a vigil this was not a protest it was a protest also from what i have seen what i've been reading there were protesting it wasn't just a simple standard vigil and secondly for her to compare it to black lives matter and so confidently say this wasn't black lives matter this was a sensitive 
um subject or sensitive topic or whatever she said it's like so are you trying to tell me that black lives matter is not a sensitive issue you see when people speak from their subconscious it catches them out we know this is nothing new but things like this really just make me think do you know what like i don't even need to tell you where your mindset is like you've actually just exposed yourself because your subconscious spoke what your truth actually is what you actually want to say to say let's not forget it's not it wasn't black lives matter of course you know what those people do they come out with these apologies she came out of an apology and she said i'm sorry the point i was trying to make was not was not articulated well on reflection i shouldn't have made the comparison i am well aware of the importance of blm for that i apologize no i'm actually done with these apologies firstly you're not sorry secondly you're not aware of the importance of black lives matter and also i was watching the news and even the way that they were comparing the conduct of the police and how the police were reacting to black lives matter but it was very interesting to me how they they only picked clips where it seemed peaceful because I'm pretty sure that at Sarah Everard's vigil that there were peaceful moments until it escalated but it's very interesting to me how when they compare the two on the news they picked the part where it looked peaceful and also oh yeah the police even knelt down in front as a gesture you know they the police even took the knee let's cut the fakery and it makes me sad that we even have to make a comparison it's like why do they always have to come with this distraction why are you not focusing on the fact that a police officer murdered this girl but you're coming with a distraction bringing black lives matter into this why are you trying to drag black people into this when it's your officer who done this but you're trying to make this about black people why black people had nothing to do with this don't even try and come with that about black lives matter about bringing comparisons distractions distractions but guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section thank you so much for tuning in if you are new to my channel feel free to hit the subscribe button and your notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in my next video